Hello, this is Lachimi Kantiwari. In this tutorial, we will learn about Internet of Things or you can say Internet of Everything. It depends on you, whatever you say. So, there are basically three big technologies which is changing the world nowadays. Internet of Things, Cyber Security and Machine Learning. Let's first discuss about the Cyber Security. Cyber Security is also referred as a Information Technology Security. It is especially focused on protecting computers, networks, programs and data from unintended or unauthorized access. And the third one is the machine learning because of new computing technologies. Because of the new computing technologies, machine learning today is not like a machine learning of the past. It was born from pattern recognition and the theory that computers can learn without being programmed to perform a specific tasks. Researchers interested in artificial intelligence wanted to see if computers could learn from data. The iterative aspect of machine learning is important because as models are exposed to new data, they are able to independently adopt. They learn from previous computations to produce reliable, repeatable decisions and results. Now it is a science that's not new but one that's gaining a fresh momentum. Now let's discuss about the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things means the Internet of Things. That means the objects connected with each other. You know, Internet. So here is the object, so many objects. These objects are connected with each other. So it makes Internet of Things. That is a machine is connecting with a machine our machine is connecting with a human that means you can say a interaction between two things or two objects it can be interaction between two machines it can be interaction between machine to the human or human to the machine a human can control all these machines independently via his laptop, wave, mobile, okay, he can send an email, he can, you know, email, SMS, he can, you know, the share market, grocery, chat, web access, you know, food, pizza order, you know, cloud computing, movies, and here are few examples, such as positions, okay, Velocity, motion, temperature, humidity, acoustic, chemical, flow, you know, it can be the water flow, force, legal levels, electric magnetics, acceleration, tilt, machine vision, optical ambient lights. So, all these applications can be controlled by using Internet of Things technology. In earlier tutorials, we have discussed about the Internet of Things protocol, okay. So you can use those protocols to interface all these uh, uh, equipments, all these uh, machines together. Here is an example of uh, Internet of Things. Just take an example of telehealth medicine. Here you know these are the um, health uh, devices which are monitoring the person such as uh, glucometer, blood pressure, weight, ECG machine, spirometer, SpO2 and the EP. And these devices are wirelessly connected with the server or a gateway and then it is connected with the internet. The patient can access all this data wirelessly on his mobile or on the wave. And uh, this data is stored on a server somewhere where the analytics run and it provides the insight of your health to the patient. And also doctor can see directly these health data. Okay. And... Uh, uh, the emergency care can be taken based on the analytics uh, which runs on these health data. Okay, now the evaluation of the Internet of Everything, it means the connection, you know, the Internet of Everything, it means connection of devices with the everything, means everything are connected with each other very closely. Here, if you see in this example, Building are commercial such as solar, campus, building automations, thermal storage, huh? meters, and uh, home, industrials. Everything is connected with each other. So you can say it is the internet of everything. 
what happens in the internet of everything you first connect the devices and then you collect the data then you access the data with the cloud standards and open apis and security then complex analytics runs on access data and then it uh, generates uh, some unique value and realize the true potential of a connected society there are some uh, then it runs some analytics on gathered data and then it uh, infer some results on it here are technological trends since 2000s first of all that rfid tags come into the market it was especially used into the supply chain then vertical market application comes where surveillance security healthcare transport food safety documents and management comes together and then ubiquitous positioning system comes around the 2010s and after that the physical world wave comes where the tele operations and tele presents ability to monitor and the control distance objects now the technology is trends going to the software agents and the advances in subscriptions and if you see the opportunity into the internet of things here you can see by 2027 connected devices per person intel has been predicted this one at the second rank to the medical data breach so these are the some opportunities where the uh, programmer or uh, iot enthusiasts can work there Uh, and it has been predicted that the 30% annual growth rate uh, will be on the iot of course it is better than the gdp so the any growth rate is better than gdp as well and it has been predicted that uh, the by 2016 23.6 million connected cars uh, will be into the market and uh, if we talk about the india the recently government of india has issued a first iot policy they are focusing to generate around the 50 billion us dollar revenue by 2020 it has been assumed that the india would have a share of a 5 to 6% of global iot industry by the 2020 if we see the internet of things into the future how it will be by now the 20, uh, by now 15 billion devices are connected with each other and uh, by 2020 it will be around the 40 to 50 billion devices will be connected with each other uh, this data varies according to the research some say 40 some say 50 so we can assume that 40 to 50 billion devices will be connected with each other so the fundamental concept is anything that will be benefit from being connected will be connected and there will be uh, around 40 times more devices than people's on the internet in 2020 and estimation is that the 2020 there will be a uh, 50 billion connected devices and uh, it will generate around the 25 billion embedded and intelligent systems and also these uh, devices will generate around the 50 trillion gigabit data so if we see the iot analytics here So on internet, smart home ranked first, and the score gathered from uh, Google search and uh, Twitter and LinkedIn. So into the smart home, a uh, smart thermostats, connected lights, smart fridge, and smart door locks are uh, top searched, and then the second top ranked is the wearable smart watch, activity tracker, and the smart glasses, and third rank is. Uh, positioned by the smart city and then fourth one is the smart grid and then industrial internet connected car connected health smart retail and smart supply chain and the smart farming so this was a short uh, introduction about the internet of things here i try to give you just an overview about the internet of things and the future glimpses of the internet of things thank you so much for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for next tutorials and uh, subscribe this channel so that you can directly get the update in your inbox